Number 11, a 12 newton force with a fixed orientation does work on a particle as the particle moves through the three-dimensional displacement d. So let's write the vector, vector d is equal to 2 in the i direction, minus 4 in the j direction, plus 3 in the k direction in meters. What is the angle between the force and the displacement with the change in the particle's kinetic energy is plus 30 joules and minus 30 joules. So for letter A, the change in the kinetic energy, let's call it delta Ka, is equal to plus 30 joules. And in letter B, delta Kb is equal to minus 30 joules. So what's what's going to be our strategy here. So we can calculate the work done by the force by remembering that the work is the dot product between the force and the displacement. However, we also know that the work done is equal to the change in the kinetic energy. So we know that the dot product between the force and the displacement is equal to the change in the kinetic energy. So we have to do a dot product over here. And remember this property of the dot product. If we have two vectors, let's say A and B, if we do the dot product between A and B, this is equal to the magnitude of vector A times the magnitude of vector B times the cosine of the angle between them. So this is where the angle appears and this is our goal over here. We want to find this angle in our calculations. So we are going, we, we're doing the dot product between the force and the displacement. So the dot product between the force and the displacement is equal to the magnitude of the force, the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the angle between them. And we just wrote that this is equal to delta k, delta k. So delta k is equal to the magnitude of the force, the magnitude of the displacement, times the cosine of the angle. So we can isolate the cosine. The cosine of the angle is equal to the change in the kinetic energy divided by the magnitude of the force, the magnitude of the displacement. So this is the cosine of the angle, but we don't want the cosine of the angle, we want the angle. So we have to apply the inverse function of the cosine. So the angle would be cosine to the minus 1 of delta k divided by the magnitude of the force, the magnitude of the displacement. And that's pretty much it. So let's see. In letter A, we know the value of delta k. We know the magnitude of the force, which is 12. However, we don't know the magnitude of the displacement. So we have to calculate the magnitude of the displacement. The magnitude of the displacement is equal to the square root of each term squared. So it would be 2 squared plus minus 4 squared plus 3 squared. And this gives us roughly, let's see, 5.39 meters. Now we can do this calculation. So the angle for letter A is equal to the cosine to the minus 1 of plus 30 joules divided by 12 times 5.39. And this gives us 62.3 degrees. So this is the answer of letter A. For letter B, the angle for letter B is equal to the cosine to the minus 1 of minus 30 joules divided by 12 times 5.39. And this gives us 100, 118 uh, degrees. And that's it.